Um, tomorrow I'm hoping I can come in front of you folks for a motion to approve court counsel for inner consent judgment. And I know that sounds like a whole lot, but it boils down to this. We've got a power company called ITC, and they've been going through a condemnation procedure with the different homeowners in our city. You may or may not have heard of that. There are several of them, and what happens is when the um, power company comes in, they have to name anybody and everybody who has any type of potential claim, if you will, on this property. In our case, in the case of other um, utilities, it's simply um, easement rights, which won't be affected. So what ITC is attempting to do is get an acquisition of vegetation management easement and they're doing it through this condemnation procedure that I mentioned. We've been named as defendants, not a big deal, along with the homeowner and several others, such as DTE, Wayne County, and a plethora of other uh, groups, if you will. So what, and we've been getting all kinds of paperwork, there's five or six you know, different um, uh, cases that we've got going on at one time. It's a lot of paperwork going back and forth, it really doesn't concern us, and by that I mean, again, all we're doing is um, telling them that we're not going to get in the way of this request. We're not waiving any rights other than we're saying we're not going to fight them attempting to get this um, easement. And quite frankly, with or without us, they're going to get the easement. What will happen is there's a certain amount of compensation that they pay that um, technically is listed for anybody who can take. So they'll offer maybe... $1,500, $2,000 for all these different in, um, groups and individuals. The only one who really has money coming from them is the homeowner himself. That's their problem for coming on to do this. Um, so we waive our right to any compensation, which quite frankly should only endear us, I would think, to the homeowner because they don't have to worry about having a split with us. And you should know that other groups such as DTE and Wayne County have also done this. So the city doesn't waive its easement, we give nothing away, we just basically say we're going to get out of their way to obtain this easement, which, you know, it's the cutting down of the uh, overgrown trees and things on the power lines. So that's what I'm going to come to you and ask for your permission to sign this. Thank you, Eric. Mr. Martin, uh, I have heard from some people that they're very upset about this, so mm -hmm. if there's nothing the city mm -hmm. can do, nothing. Um, well, how can people come onto your property that you own and they can just cut your trees and all this stuff and, and we're going to sign it away and say, okay, go for it? I don't understand. No, okay, we're not, let me, let me say this to make sure that I'm clear here. Okay. We're not saying, we're only getting out of the way as us. Mm -hmm. We don't have a dog in the fight with the homeowner or them. The homeowners, um, chance to take care of this is they in fact go in front of the judge and what might in fact happen is if they've offered 1500 the judge may say no 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 I think it should be 3500 but they're going to get the easement because the argument's going to be is for the overall safety and the effective operation of the electrical system coming through the city of Taylor. Yep. That's kind of tough to overcome. And John wouldn't that over also be uh, considered essential services? Yes. Yeah, so. so, I mean, we're not, don't get me wrong, the mayor brought that up to me too. We are not taking sides and we are not bailing out on the homeowner. All we're saying is the rights to the city, which is merely an easement. We're saying you're not affecting our easement. We're not going to get any way. All we can argue is the effect that would be on us. We can't get in on behalf of the homeowner. That'll be up to them. And again, Okay, so if they say no, if they say no, that they don't want the money, they don't want to do it, they can just do it anyway? At the end of the day, most likely, yes. I would say yes. Because wow. what they'll do is they'll get their hearing from the judge. They'll certainly get a hearing. Mm -hmm. The judge will listen to their reasons. The judge will listen to why the ITC feels they have to do this. And then, yes, uh, most likely, the court will say and fine for ITC. The, the best that's going to happen is the homeowner may, in fact, get some more money. Well, it, it, I've heard that they're cutting down more than they need to. They're leaving all the... the debris in the yard for the residents to pick up. I mean, I've got older um, <coughs> residents that this is happening to. I, I mean, they have no recourse. I mean, what the heck? Well, if we, if we let me ask you, is if, I mean, if we sign off on this like this, does it, does it pose us with the property owner to come back and name us because we... We just signed off. You know, signed off and said we can't do anything. We can't stand with them. I mean, I know we don't, I mean, 
saying we don't have anything to gain from being in it. We, so all we have to do is stand to lose, which is paying legal bills to answer each one of the responses, which is, I mean, that's what I was explaining. All we're going to do is we're going to pay for counsel to answer each response, which is we don't have a dog in this fight, so okay, but yeah, just go so around. So I understand. They can do it anyway. Stay. Why are they going around giving, you know, offering money to people if they can do it anyway out of the kindness of their heart? Still entitled to due process. Right, and under the law, because it's considered a taking. You're right, they are in fact taking something from this property owner. Mm -hmm. They should get compensated for it. But make no mistake, I mean, really, at the end of the day, ITC right. is going to get, get the question. With respect to the question you have, um, Joe, uh, I think that the recourse they would have is one, you have to contact ITC, because ITC, I'm sure, doesn't want that kind of reputation in PR. And secondly, quite frankly, when they go in front of the judge, they say to the judge, here's the problem I have. Um, and I think the judge will address it, you know, on behalf of the homeowner there. But again, anything that we do or don't do won't impact, has nothing to do with the owner and what they do, don't do, what happens to them, what doesn't happen to them. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's the urgency on this? I mean, you bring it tomorrow, we won't have much time to look at it. While it seems like something, you know, that's that's we, we should look at closely. And that's fine. Um, well, I don't know where some of the city parcels, some of the city utilities are already taking utilities in those areas. Have we looked at that? Making sure the city continue to have access to those? Absolutely, that's the whole point. We don't waive any of our easement rights or our access rights. Okay. So the only in effect, all over it, stuff you're talking That's correct. Okay. In effect, all we're doing is getting our name off the caption. And Rick, the reason we want to do this so quickly is the paperwork is flying back and forth, and I'm making decent money. I have no complaints. But really, because we don't have it on the media, we should be out Well, I'd like to have enough time to review it, though. I mean, I understand that you That's want to fine. get it done and behind us. I just don't know about getting it tomorrow and, and acting on it tomorrow night. Okay. Um, and if you can't, you can't. I mean, I'd like to get it as soon as possible. Absolutely, yeah, I will. I'll it, get that certainly, too. you know, my schedule is absolutely <coughs> full tomorrow. I just don't know when the heck I would review it. No problem. I have another question. Are these existing lines, or we're just you know cutting these people's yards and putting brand new lines just to make it easier for themselves, or what are they doing? This is the way I understand. These are existing lines again because this is just the vegetation cut down. There's nothing about putting. Yeah, they're like cutting there. down a lot though. I mean, it's just defacing well, these people's yards. I've met with property owners. I met with property owners and and Senator Bat or Commissioner Bashan's office, Senator Hopgood, mm -hmm. um, Congressman Dingle, all on the same property with ITC to to go over that particular issue and what's being cut, what the distance needs to be cut. And, and you know, again, unfortunately, it's, it, you know, it, it does put a lot of bonus back on the property owner to continue that fight. And, and that's the hard part because it's, you know, they're tackling that in some cases alone because mm -hmm. somebody might be in the same position across the street and might not have an issue and just said, sure, you can have it for whatever you're willing to pay mm -hmm. for it and you go through it and well, this person's you know, completely feels like their, their property's being invaded, their personal space is being invaded, and, and don't want to sign off. Um, you know, it's a it's a tough situation, but, I mean, they've been in existence. I mean, it goes back to it. They've reviewed with, with the property owner. Their deed, deed goes back to 1928 on the property. It, you know, it says the lines, you know, it says 10 feet from the lines, and, you know, obviously the post-2003 blackout, the, the requirements changed, they put it out to 30 feet or something, I think it was, and, and forced them to kind of go through a more process, but I mean, I, I haven't, you know, I know Senator Hopgood has been, you know, supportive and adamant about the about what they're going through, but haven't gotten really anything from Congressman Eagle's office or, or, you know, through the state legislature side, and I think everybody was invited from both the both offices in, in Wells, you know, Wayne County, and Congressman's office just to say, you know, thinking it was an SEC issue that that put gave basically gave ITC the rights to to expand. And, and I know some of the concerns was okay, we cut here now and they throw up three more lines and throw up an extension bar in there, put up a couple more lines, and then they go 60 more feet and then they take over the whole property. But um, I don't know. I don't know what else to deal with. You said they're bringing back children. <laughs> Well, at the end of the day, it's a, everyone wants electricity, and those rights away need to be maintained. The utility has access rights, as we have access rights. And I would imagine if a contractor or the utility themselves is not cleaning up after themselves, that's a different matter, and I think that they need to be, you know, gone after. And uh, if there's a the number that we have, we need to do uh, DPS or DPW to, yeah. to, to, to remind.
remind them they got to clean up after themselves, so we're not doing it. But in terms of essential services, everyone wants electricity. At the end of the day, people will get their their day in court, if you will. And maybe they'll argue and they'll, you know, up the amount of compensation that they might receive. But either way, it will go through. It just doesn't seem right. I mean. 